Let me, let me talk a little bit about the energetic interactions um, core value that we have. And this was um, one that came up from a, uh, a pastor actually, who was talking about how his focus is to be his best and to be energetic because um, it's possible that somebody has been working on their family member or their friend or their grandfather or their spouse for years to come to church. And he said, the absolute last thing that I want is for somebody to work on their spouse for five years to come to that church. And when they get there, the energy is low and the person feels like the members at church don't want to be there. They don't care. And we said, you know what, that's true in our industry as well, where we'll often have somebody who their spouse has been working on them for years to try something other than drugs, surgery, or leave it alone and hope it goes away. And when that person walks through the door, we want to make sure that they say, wow, this is unique. This is different. This isn't like other health healthcare places where people show up for a paycheck and then they just go home. This is a place where people are excited to be, where people like coming to work and where people want to go above and beyond to help us to be well. The second one, healthy people help people. This one seems pretty straightforward to me, but um, we found that if you're healthy, if you feel good, if you have energy, if you've had enough sleep, if you've been eating well, if you've been exercising, the healthier you are, the more willing and able you are to go help, help other people as well. And on the other side of that, if you're unhealthy, it's very hard to help other people, right? If you are miserable, if you are not getting enough sleep, if you do not have good energy, if you are not exercising regularly, it's very, very difficult for you to muster up the ability to go help other people. So at the core of what we do, we know that if we're healthy and we focus on it and we put time into it and we put money into it and we put energy and focus into us staying healthy, that will give us the greatest return on helping other people to be healthy. Growing people change. This is one that we decided because we, um, over time, we would have some people who wanted to do the same thing over and over forever. And we would find new technology or we would find a new system or a new way of doing things. And we would say, this is the new way of doing it. We found a better way and we're gonna change. And we would get met with a lot of resistance. And we decided, you know what, we're gonna work with people and we're gonna deal with people who are willing to change when the time to change is there. And there's a lot of businesses, there's a lot of industries where the same thing was done over and over just because that's how it's always been done. And we don't believe that. We believe that if you're learning, if you're growing, if you're improving, then things are changing. Not only in the way that your business runs, not only in our treatment, not only in how our staff deals with people and issues, but in the way that we utilize technology and scheduling and, um, and radiographs and x-rays and analysis and um, orthopedic testing and adjusting, all of these things should be evolving and getting better as the world changes, as technology changes, as we learn new things and see new things. And the last one, solution focus. This is another um, one that just, we developed it over time because we found that the more people that we helped, the more problems that came up. The bigger you get, the more problems you're gonna have. And we said, we wanna surround ourselves with people who are focused on the solution not focused on the problem. It's very, very easy to focus on what the issue is, to, to be able to say, here's the problem, here's the problem, here's the problem, without saying, where's the solution? The goal is that everybody looks at any issue, any problem, and they can say, this is what the solution is, not just, this is what I think we should do, but even going beyond that and saying, here's the root cause of it. Here's the thing that's leading to the problem and fixing that instead of just going directly at the symptom or directly at the